back to another video. video. Low key, you guys, we have to be a tiny bit quiet. The puppy is sleeping. Now fuck that, cause we gonna get drunk. It's 12.40 right now at night. Um, By the time of today's video, you guys already know we're gonna be drinking and pumpkin carving and eating steak and just having a good time, guys. We're so tired, we literally came from my nephew's birthday at a carnival, shout out to George. We are busting our ass off for you guys and we're gonna have a little bit of fun, so. Oh, did you fun. drop it? I opened the freaking Escalade thing and it fell and broke. So we actually got this one in the video that you guys saw of us going to the five star pumpkin patch. And then this one we just picked up at Ralph's right now. Because like the other two that we got, we accidentally uh, smashed in. We have some steak and wine. And this is Wagyu New York steak, you guys. I made it. And then we got some white wine. This white wine is actually from the Boo Baskets with Garth. I just got Botox and in on the top of my lip. Girls, if you don't get a lip flip, do it. But yeah, if I like talk weird or something, it's because I just got it. We got some leftover uh, Don Julio Blanc. I'm excited to drink. I can't, you guys. I don't drink. I, I'm a retired drinker. We got some pasta right here, you guys. The last time I drank was Brittany's 21st when we threw the um, party at the Airbnb. I am not a drinker. I'm more of a chiefer. I'm trying to stop chiefing. I'm getting back on my grind. We're only going to be taking two shots because me and Brittany are lightweights. Or maybe three shots. So however but we honestly, feel. honestly, wine be creeping up on you. I'm going to beat you this time. I think we're supposed to be making like a face or something, but I might freestyle. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I have to fart. <laughs> You're not supposed to inhale anything in your lungs, but that's some gas. You're dumb. I, I'm gonna attempt this. Please be fucking for real. You know what? My energy's low. I need a shot, bro. What, what is this shit, bro? Okay, can you give me a chaser then, dude? I feel like a surgeon. No, babe. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Really? Yeah, dead ass. All right, I'm down for a chaser. Coke. Babe, two shots is easy. Come on, bro. I used to drink, you guys. Like, I was always like, come on, let's go. Wait, what the fuck? That's what that is for. This? That's why you're supposed to leave the stem on. <laughs> Are you Holy shit. <laughs> Remember the pumpkin patch wave when they, they did like Patrick and shit? Cool. Yeah, I know. I don't pumpkins. know how the fuck those people do that. Guys, if you haven't seen the pumpkin patch video, we rated a one star pumpkin patch and a five star pumpkin patch. Go watch it. I'll put it at the end of today's video. That was easy. Babe, what are you doing? Look. Bro, oh, you know what? I don't need your criticism. I'm gonna go get a chaser because I need a shot. All right, babe, you ready for the no. shot? No. You guys, I'm dead ass. I really don't want to. Drunk pumpkin carving. I'm gonna throw up, dude. I'm gonna fucking throw How up. How much I pour in this? I'm at a point in my life. I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, but you just turned 21. Why the fuck are you doing to drink? I'm old. In high school, I would go to parties. I would drink. Like, I had that party life already. Like, I, I lived it. You guys are in high school and college. The people you're partying with and the people you're surrounding yourself with are not really your friends. I mean, you are having fun and shit, but once you're like 25, 30, you broke as shit. Instead of partying and going to all these events and shit. Damn! I suggest like figuring out what you want to do in life. Watch your back. Keep your circle small and get on your grind. Everybody, you guys will be inside at a club. Me and Gorak will be outside. When I'm at the club or at somebody's party, we're we usually eat, outside. No, especially with Brittany, I don't get stupid drunk and I watch my surroundings. First of all, I got a female right here that I love with my whole heart. I need to be on my 10 toes, you know? If people peer pressure you, just say, my boy, I'm driving. Learn to say no. I'm a very nice person, guys, and I'm just now learning to say no oh to people. Oh my God. What? I just thought about what we could talk about the other day, what happened to us. What? You don't remember the other day what happened to us? No. Baby, the other day, what happened to her? You don't her? clean the dirt out of Bernie's, uh, I mean, Bernie's, your female's teeth. Tell them that story real quick. Okay, guys, before we take the shot, basically, like, on our third date, I had something in my tooth, and Garik was like, oh, you have something in your tooth, and I was like, oh. And I went to go get it, and he's like, no, no, no. He went and took this thing out of my tooth and ate it. You guys, it was like our third date, and I looked at him like, he was like, no, no, no. And ate it, and I was like. Was that a Nick? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. No, it wasn't. It was like that. I want to put my pussy in his mouth. Babe, I'm pouring some back a babe, little bit. Babe, no. You're being lame. Come on. We're only taking two shots. Babe, please. Please, babe. No. Babe, come on. I shouldn't even be drinking. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't want to. No, you still have some in there. No, I don't. No, I'm kidding. Just one more shot, baby. All right. So what are we going to talk about, babe? I'm not trying to stir up no stupid shit. 
Okay, I'm just gonna tell you guys. I'm not gonna tell you guys who it was. I'll put the surveillance too. It was like 1 a.m., you guys. Me and Garrick had gone outside for I don't know what. What did we go outside for? Oh, oh, to go look at my car. Yeah. Guys, Brittany's car is back, but we are, we are doing some stuff to it. Some stuff had to be taken off. We're gonna be doing a new reveal on the new car, so stay tuned for that. My car right now looks brand new, you guys. Like, it looks like I started all over. But it is what it is, you know? I told Garrick, I was like, oh, babe, like, let, like, come look at the front of my car. Like, my, the front of my car, like, I want to show you like what I want to do to the car. So we, we had gone outside. I know the sound of a G-Wagon because they all sound the same and there's like... We got hella G-Wagons in our community. Yeah, there's like 40 G-Fucking Wagons. So I'm like, oh shit, that's a G-Wagon. I'm like, isn't that crazy how like we can tell? So basically I was like, oh, I can, I can hear it. And then it's like coming up like fast past us on our hill, you guys. And then me and Garrick look at each other and then we're just kind of like, whatever. And then all of a sudden the car goes like towards the gate and then we hear it come back, you guys. New turn. We hear it come back and I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, like, why is it like coming back? I was like, oh, maybe the gate. That's the first thing I thought in my head. Like, maybe the gate didn't open. No, you guys. The car comes back. <laughs> the car comes back, stops at the stop sign, comes down our street. Windows down. Like, we can see who you are, my boy. We're... Can you put that there? No. I thought that was in the box. That was in the box. That okay, was in guys. the box though, what the fuck? We're the only people outside. When the G-Wagon had passed by, it's the, a person, pink G -wagon, by the, the way. person in the car looked over at us and then went up to the gate and then came back down. I forgot to add that part in, I'm so sorry. Let me tell you what's going on in my head though. Whenever he made a U-turn and I heard the G-Wagon coming back, I'm like, hold on, like. Yeah, it was weird. We were just like, wait, hold on, like. No, but what's going on in my mind when he turned in our street, I'm like, look, my girl's outside with me. The straps inside, like I need my weapon. Whenever he passed by us, there's a dead end. So you whenever guys. he goes, he has to make another U-turn to go past this again. I went inside, I grabbed the Thule, came out, the motherfucker drove past us again slowly, made it right at the stop sign, went down, and then me and Brittany started talking like, what the fuck, that was hella weird. Yeah, we were just like, what the fuck, like that was weird, like why, like you don't like. like you didn't have to do that. Yeah, like you didn't have to do that. Like if you wanted to make yourself known, like. And he could have made a left out at the stop sign at first, instead of going, making a U-turn, coming back, making a right. Yeah. And then making another U-turn, with going and then making a right. Yeah, like. He could have made it like, if he was like checking out the area, like. Yeah, 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 so you guys, he was literally, he literally goes up to the gate. And I Unless know for. i curious, I'm not sure. Even though like we're a gated community, dude, it's late, bro. Like, I'm not taking no chances. Then he comes back again, you guys. Again! In the beginning, I thought like he was like he was gonna maybe like stop and like say something to us because of how slow he was going. You guys, it's a pink G-Wagon with chrome rims. Do your research. It was just weird, you guys. It was like you don't do that. Let us know your guys' like opinions. And what guys, you guys, I know you guys are probably saying, like, why didn't you just go back inside your house? Guys, my escalate and my Hellcat was outside because they're doing construction on our backyard and front yard. And like I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do to my car. It's just weird. Any any person would say the same thing, like Shadow Clock. I'm so over drinking. But let us know your guys' opinions on that. I low key feel like I'm gonna regret telling you guys. I feel like I should have waited to tell you guys. We weren't gonna talk about it at all, but we had nothing to talk about in today's video. To yeah, be literally. I'm so tired of giving a fuck about what people have to say about me and what the fuck people think. Like, I'm literally so over it, and that's something that I wanna tell you guys too. Like, don't give a fuck about what anybody thinks. Like, at the end of the day, it's your life. Like, if somebody wants to have an opinion on what you want to do with your life. Guys, don't listen to nobody's opinion. Literally. At the end of the day, it's your life. Those people that sit there and talk about you all weird and shit, especially on social media, they don't like their life. Sorry to say. In general, like I feel like there's like- Guys, even when, even when, we were in high when I was growing up, people hated my guts for no reason. Yeah, and you know what the too. fuck you are if you're watching this. I did not give a fuck. I dealt with that in high school for a very long time. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna actually talk about this for real. For a very long time in my life, you guys, I did not get a period. I didn't get a period till I was in ninth grade, you guys, and all of the girls in my grade got their period. Like every girl got it in middle school. And I'm still like going on to high school not having a period. So like all the girls had boobs. They had like like nice hips and a butt and stuff like that, you know? And I wanted boobs. Like I wanted to have boobs when I was like, I saw all the girls having it. So I was like, dude, like why aren't I getting my period? Like for a while there were a couple of friends, you guys. 
Let and me just reiterate. I thought they were my friends, but in middle school, they would make fun of me for not having boobs or because for a very long time, my nickname, my dad calls me. My whole family, they call me Flaquita. If you guys don't know what that means, that basically means like, like skinny girl. My dad would always call me like Flaquita, like my, they would always call me like skinny Bon Jones, like I don't eat. And for a very long time, you guys, I was skinny. Like, and I'm still very, you know? Yeah, I did have a very bad eating disorder. And all the girls that had like the boobs and the butt and the nice thighs and stuff like that would make fun of me because I was skinny and I had no boobs. And it sucks, it, it really did suck. But but at the end of the day, like, I had my family that loved me. And now that I look at it, you guys, I'm like, wow. Like, honestly, I'm just going to tell you guys, I think that's why I wanted to get my BBL so bad. Because I couldn't gain weight, you guys. And when I did gain weight, it wasn't in the right places. Like, I would gain weight just in my belly, never in my legs or my butt. Like, honestly, I love having my fat ass. So basically that's what I'm talking about you guys like don't it's whatever don't. It, it's whatever you love not yeah. oh, big booty you plastic even though it's fat like bro that shit not your yeah, booty bro that shit's not your ass like why and, the fuck you talking about somebody's ass like that and, like, it's not yours and I'm not sitting here you guys encouraging to get surgery I'm just saying like please like don't care about what people say like because I didn't talk about this at all either after my surgery I was talking to my mom and I actually cried to my mom and I told my mom that I was sorry and she was like for what like Brit like she was like for what like what are you sorry about and I told her that I was sorry for touching my body that she gave me and that I just felt bad you guys like I was like my mom gave me this body and I went and started like touching it and just like as a daughter I just God gave you that body though babe yeah yeah, and but like, I don't regret my BBL. I just, I cared about too much and- If you think about it, a tattoo is a surgery too. Less painful and you, you don't have to go under, under. That's still touching your body. Oh, but it's art, right? That's not art, right? Like, it's whatever the fucking Honestly, human- Honestly, It's whatever the fuck human race says, it, whatever it is. Dr. Jung's work is fucking art. What the hell? Literally. Even Drake put Dr. Jung in a fucking song. She went to Jung and she bought her body. Dr. Jung- She went to Jung and Gar bought her a body. I'm just sitting here telling you guys, like, don't care about what anybody says. Like, if you don't want to touch your body, don't touch your body. If you want to get a BBL, do whatever the fuck makes you happy. If you want to get your tits done, go do whatever the fuck makes you happy. Stop caring about what people say. Like, if you are happy with the way that you are, if you want to embrace something else, do whatever the fuck makes you happy. At the end of the day, it's your life, more life. Fuck it. You understood the point, but uh, let's take another shot. That first shot did not do anything. Big shot, baby. You ready? Bro, catch up. Guys, look at me already, bro. Stop playing with G. G team all the way to alcohol. Cheers. I don't like to. Guys, that second shot got looking? me groovy. Alexa, tell me a joke. Can I? That was a wackish, bro. Ooh. Alexa, tell me another joke. Better one, you bitch. Shh. Return Alexa. You fucked it up. I couldn't hear She said, why did the chicken cross the road? Because her friends told it to. All right, let's cheers our wine, man. Because I'm going to beat you. Come on. Cheers. Happy life. Happy life. Happy what? Happy life. Happy double before. Happy wife, happy life. Mm. Mm. Right now. <laughs> All right now. This pumpkin shit. All right now. Take your sip. Wait, can I at least finish doing this really quick? Wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll be back, guys, after this commercial. Two hours later. All right, you guys. So we're gonna finish. Just beat some cheeks. Oh, shut up, dude. I'm gonna finish my pumpkin because somebody didn't let me. Done. Things got a little spooky. Shut up, bro. Oh. No. Wow, babe, I fucked up. I fucked, I fucked up. up. Look at what I was trying to do. What is it? Oh shit, dude. Babe, you're dumb as fuck, bro. Get up. Another shot. Now you're doing too much. Stop. Look what I was trying to do. Can you stop? For what real? You, you know what you're like? You're like an obnoxious fucking uncle. That's what you're exactly like. Bro, what are you getting aggressive stop. for? Stop, bitch. Do it again. Kill me. I won't. Kill me. Kill me. Look what I was trying to do. Give it lashes? Yeah. Guys, I'm done. Ta-da! What do you guys rate my shit right now? 
Are we supposed to put a candle in it to reveal the last? Man, I'm not Guys, we'll do a reveal after we're done. My pumpkin looks mean. Hurry up, let's finish this so I can get around to it. Bro, shut up. Hey, baby. Ready? Are you ready to reveal it? That shit looks stupid. <laughs> I'm never doing this again, bro. You fucking suck. Where's your pumpkin? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Babe, what the fuck? Give me your shit. Give me your shit. Give me your shit. No! Ah! That's fuck. No. No, move! Is it that <laughs> stupid? Is it you should be throwing mine? Wait, wait, show them, show them, show them, show them first. Alright, guys, this, oh is, God, this is Brittany's pumpkin. And there is no more pumpkin. Baby, that was very mean. You caught my. <laughs> I said Baltimore. No, you didn't. Babe, you said mine was stupid. You said that shit is stupid as fuck. Can I get a rewind on that? That shit was stupid. You made fun of mine. I was, I was actually really. I heard, I heard it like thump, but I was laughing. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought like that just slipped and fell or some shit. I don't know. You threw my fucking. Guys, what the fuck? You called my. That was not lashes. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you play this. We can fucking spit on each other. Oh, he's eating a pumpkin, guys. On Google, it says they could. Comment down below what team you're on, G or B team, and comment down below who won, G or B team. I, I don't know who the fuck won, but I'm fucking drunk off two big shots and I'm some. Why is your stem right here? Bro, you're messed up, bro. You fucking look, look what I did to yours. I, I was nice. And look what the. I, I didn't even see what happened to mine, bro. Damn, it's 1 a.m. Damn, I'm almost sorry. piping, bro. I just want to clarify something very quickly, you guys. You guys know we are never in drama, and this was no hate towards the person at all. We just wanted to share this with you guys. It was just like a weird experience for us. Like, we've never experienced anything like that before. Like, I also want to get your guys' opinion if you guys think that that was weird, because I know I'm not tripping. Especially, you know, being schmated. Imagine being outside and witnessing that. That's crazy. Ah. <coughs> Fuck you, pooch. Balls have. Ah. All right, you guys. That's it for today's video. We love you guys so. Balls have. Balls have. Ah. No hate at all. We love you all so much. We never want to spread hate. We always want to spread love and joy and happiness. And that's literally it. So thank you guys so much for the story time. We had a great time, to be honest. It was fun. Well, it lasted until you called my pumpkin stupid as fuck. You're mean. You're mean. You called my pumpkin stupid as fuck for it, no reason. It was very stupid, honestly. Yours was fugly. It looked exactly like you. Oh! You want me to smack you? Do it. Do <laughs> it. That's a BBL fart right there, you guys. Dr. Jung, that shit. Oh, shit. Bro, I like this fucking tank top. Rip me out of the plastic I've been acting brand new. I just made a fashion trend. Look, wait, 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 wait. Rick Owen, please hire Bro, me. Let me walk through the fashion show right Wait, now. I'm, I'm not done yet. Tag Rick Owen. Hold on, let me walk around. Can you guys see me? Oh my God. I can't do that shit no more. All right, guys, love you guys. Oh, Subscribe. Cheers what? to you guys. We love you guys. There's this shot, shot. And you can't taste the shot, I guess. Let me know if you guys have, have tried it and if it actually is really good because we'll do a review on it. But. Let us know if you guys want a porno. Can you stop? You guys, I'm so sorry. If you guys are Hispanic, you know what I'm talking about. It's always that one uncle that's like, I love you, dude. I love you, fool. Stay safe. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, whatever the fuck it is. G and B out. Comment down below what team you're on and comment down below who you think won. Love you guys. Peace the fuck. Ow. Oh.